Okay, anyway, listen, never mind about me being a porno star yeah. or something. I mean, that was a long time ago. I don't want to talk about it now. Um, did you? We tried to get our friend Rod Little on um, tonight, but he wasn't available. He's, He's a busy man. A low you know? profile. Um, but he was giving a talk last week to uh, students at Durham University. Golly, I remember some times actually going to Durham University back in the uh, 70s. It's quite a renowned university, Durham University. Yeah, but it's full of snowflakes, isn't it? Now? Like every university is like full the, of idiots. Like the Oxford and Cambridge, it seems the higher, yeah. the better they are, the more snowflakey they are. I, think, I hope none of these people are thinking of going into politics. In fa fact, I think, you know... Well, they won't be able to hear other views of, of their own, own, so they can't. No, they're, they're absolutely stupid. And, and quite frankly, to be fair, most of them are taking money, aren't they, from uh, strange countries? Well, I don't know about that. Some are. I mean, you know. Well, uh, some of them. Oh, you mean they take uh, donations? You mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I mean, I know at Oxford, they. Yeah. Or was it Cambridge? I think Oxford. Um, so, uh, we've got a Mr. David Frankel on, who is a, a student at Durham University. Now, I'm not sure, I, I presume, uh, David Frankel, that you are, uh, are you, are you were um, president or uh, vice president of the uh, Students' Union or not? Uh, no, no, that's, that's been mixed up a bit. No, I was, I'm just, uh, I'm actually not from South College. I'm from a different college called Van Milder, but I was there as a guest. Uh, I see. You didn't walk out, though, did you? Sorry, but hang you on, just before out? we hang on, just a minute, just before we ask you, David, I just need to know. So, how how did uh, our researcher, producer, whoever it was, find you? You must obviously be um, uh, involved in some way. Uh, if you're no, not I, I a, just, a, a union I just spend too much time on Twitter, to be honest. But you were there, oh, weren't you? Last night, I was there. I've been tweeting a lot about it. Yeah. Oh, have you? Okay, right. Well, I haven't read any, so you tell me your thoughts about it. Well, my thoughts are, you know, I was invited to come along to this college formal. It was supposed to just be a nice Christmas dinner where people came along to have a nice time and eat a meal and spend yeah. time with their friends and mm. unknown to anybody because this wasn't told, you know, this wasn't announced in advance. This was not a pre-announced event. Rod Little was there and he just gave this speech where he basically just tried to, you know, just upset as many people as possible. And so oh, no. it's not a great shock no. that people who don't want to listen to yeah. this talk, that they've not, you know agreed to what come did and he talk say? This, this wasn't a session of the durham union yeah. where there was a debate you know this did was it not just say there was a guest speaker there at all hang, hang, hang on i just a minute we were, i mean nobody I've, was told I've spoken to be there yeah i've it spoken at the durham it. union a few times um not recently because of course you're all a bit bit wishy-washy now um so rod little i know quite well he's uh he's a good guy very entertaining uh what what did he say that offended you not me personally, but he offended trans students. He offended students what of ethnic minorities. Say? Students who were raised by single mothers. What, what did he say? He was just... No, what did know, he, he say? Said, you walked out, said, David. What did he say? He said, if you have an XY chromosome and a long dangling penis between your legs, you're a man. And nobody wants to hear about long dangling penises over their dinner. No, but it was so a scientific... Why? Hang on, hang on, Ash. Hang on, Ash. Hang on. Do you feel inferior when people talk about long dangling penises? Is that the problem? Did you feel a bit inferior? Put him off his dinner, he says. No, Put him off his that was dinner. Not the problem. What was for dinner? Are was you it sure? sausages? I walked out out of solidarity with other yeah. trans students who were made to yeah. feel uncomfortable at a Christmas dinner where yeah. they were just trying why, to have a nice Why meal. would you be made it to feel uncomfortable? It was unnecessary. Are you not Oh, for goodness sake. But I heard they walked out. Haven't... He walked out before he spoke. Didn't you walk out before he spoke? Some people walk out before he spoke. Others walked mm. out Did during... you wait and hear a little bit and then walk out? I, I, I left. The dangling so. willy bit you so walked you, out. So you don't really point. know what he said that was offensive. You're just one of these woke wallies who unfortunately go to university who's going to be completely useless in future life. What are you going to do with yourself, eh? You're going to get into politics and then ruin the country. Why don't you grow a backbone? People like you really annoy me. How triggered are you now? I think now? it takes backbone. I think it does take backbone doesn't to walk out doesn't take backbone to walk you out. When you object to the speaker. I use it all the time on this show. Well, I, mean, I often walk out for a laugh. Out? But should the principle be suspended? I mean, what's all that about? Where's the freedom the of speech? The principle is answerable to the students of South College. I'm not one, so it's not for me to say. But, but there's, there's no the freedom of speech. College should have what freedom you, hang on, Ash. Hang, hang on. I don't want to even be nice to this bloke. He's annoying me. By the way, I always tell people who are easily offended not to listen to this program. I'm actually surprised you agreed to come on. Because all I do is offend people from beginning to end, apparently, according to some. Yeah, well, this time but, I knew you know, what I was getting into. I was prepared for it. Oh, people really? Didn't okay. come to well, Christmas you need to be stronger than that and be ready even if you're not, you know. Provoked, it's like not that bad what? for talking on to someone. Cut, is it? The, 
You, you amaze me, you lot. You really amaze me. You walk out, you look so well, holier than thou. You, you've got, you, you, you all started you, very much on the offensive from the moment I came on here. What I, um, what yeah, I because, you know, you? you've come on, you've come on smug-faced to actually defend the lack of freedom of speech in the universities in this country at the moment. You, out, sir, that should is be a, ashamed of yourself. Freedom. That is out, just as he's free to speak, we're free to walk out of the room if we don't want to listen to him. Yeah, but you can't really have debate like that, can you? God, you are, you, you so annoy me and you're smug about it, it and you Christmas think you're dinner. clever. Why not have a little, just bit of thought and it's nice like, over, you know. Rod Little was invited to come and make a speech. Presumably you didn't Absolutely. read anything because you didn't stay and listen to it. So you just walked out because you thought you'd show solidarity with people who were offended. I presume people who get offended at everything. You know, you don't want to hear jokes about people. Speech. There was nothing of substance in it. It was just a well, provocative a good speech, speech. has to be a bit provocative, provocative doesn't it? That's what students, yeah. it should be a bit, you know, provocative. And David, sort of of... go back to university. You're no good to this programme. Thank you very much indeed. Goodbye. I can't be bothered with people like that. Take a break.